the floor. You don't want broken pots all over the place. <coughs> because of that, we have agreed as a government that we are going to continue to complete uh, these CBC classrooms, uh, which we started about uh, seven months ago now. The first phase of uh, about 6,500 were completed. About six weeks ago, we started on the second phase, <coughs> which is uh, doing extremely well. As I speak to you now, for example, a county like Nyeri has completed 100%. We are in the small process of ensuring that they get paid. The money is available at 788,200 per classroom. Most of the counties in, in the central region are at over 90 percent. Most of the counties in the, the Nyanza region are also over 90 percent, followed by the eastern region and the northern region. Globally, we are basically at uh, 75 percent, which leaves us with a, a tough nut to crack of about 1,200 classrooms. I strongly believe <laughs> that by God's grace we should be able to uh, complete that construction so that whenever uh, the new CS takes over, <coughs> he finds that um, he has a smooth uh, place to start from. In terms of the preparedness of our children, I think uh, the portal has been open and uh, even though the school resumes tomorrow, using technology you can reach the portal even before the schools open. I want us to continue to be positive about our children. We produce them with our blood and we love them. Let us not be naysayers all the time. That portal will remain open till the 30th of August. Maybe by which time there will be another cabinet secretary, I'm not sure. But if I am still there by that time, and it requires that we adjust the, the timetable after consulting widely, then it will be done. It's also important that uh, the outgoing government does not make major policy issues that can affect the incoming one. So I would want the members of the public and the fourth estate to be a bit uh, reasonable with us. Just to allow us to complete what has to be completed on behalf of our children. I have galvanized and moved around the questions that I thought you were going to ask because I'm not going to take them. Uh, <coughs> Nobody knows when Avan Askari, who seems to be very good. <laughs> Nobody knows for sure. We have a president elect, but nobody knows for sure when he will be sworn in. I am not a politician, so don't think, and I've never been one. But it doesn't mean that the politicians are also not good people. So as we galvanize this very difficult time, can we cross the bridges as we get there? Are we together? We shall cross the bridges as we get there. This ministry, under the government of, uh, the outgoing government of His Excellency Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, is going to do everything possible to ensure that uh, we work with other ministries and make certain decisions at the appropriate time. For example, if there is going to be an election in, in the near future, after thorough consultation, the government will pronounce itself about our children and the most important thing that we shall consider is their safety. For example, if the children are already in the boarding classes, in the boarding schools, and those boarding schools are to be used for a day or so, those children will not be taken home. 
they can, for example, be told for this day, you just play games and remain in the hostel. It, it, it's much better and easier to deal with it that way. Are we together here? I hope I've answered all your questions which are unasked. And thank you very much for your continuous cooperation. <laughs> Let me end up by saying that uh, it has not been easy being a CS for education during COVID. And in order for me to move things forward, I have been very firm, at times extremely firm, in between the firmness, one may say that uh, <laughs> one has cracked certain jokes. I want to say without any fear of contradiction that if any of those jokes went to the wrong side, that was not the intention. And my apologies to the, the general public about that. There is nobody who is perfect. I believe that uh, in order for me to have been given the opportunity to serve in this capacity, it was purely by the grace of God. I, as a practicing Christian, I respect everybody, from the lowest to the highest. The way you see me, and I think he can attest, the courage that I have, first of all, comes from God. Secondly, it comes from Starway Boys Center training. We are eagles and we fly high and we are not afraid and we deliver. We deliver to the extent that even if you don't like us as eagles, you can go and count what we have delivered. If during that process we have looked like we are arrogant, then we seek your forgiveness, but not that we are about to change. Eagles always keep on flying. And when the eagle is going, he doesn't... Uh, he just disappears into the air. That's what is going to happen to us. As the president's handyman, you expect us to go with him. All we want is to uh, assure the public, the general public, that we have taken all the arrows and the stones. But we have forgotten about it because it is about our children. I think it is good enough to get arrows and stones because of our children. I, as a person, Magoha, son of Magoha, I want to thank His Excellency the President for having given me an opportunity to serve the children in both primary and secondary school because those are the ones I've fallen in love with. Having taught at the university for over 42 years, I think I only discovered my life when I came to the Ministry of Education and went to the slums where I was ordered by the President to go. That is where the life is and uh, perhaps that's where the the next years uh, will be encouraged also to go, not to work from Jogo House, because uh, when you work from Jogo House, you see a lot of things that are not there. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to thank you, as members of the Fourth Estate, for having worked with me and having taken the good, the bad, and the ugly of my side, because that is a human being. Santin San, it's good to see you again. And you'll see me moving around the country hopefully until the day that uh, we have a new head of state, which would then mean that I, I cease to uh, complete what I'm co hoping to complete. But I'm all, I also hope that by that time, my main target, which is completing the classrooms, will have been done. Thank you.